Now let's take up question number 52. It states here that which of the following is an equiangular and equilateral polygon? So here we are given with four options that is rectangle, square, rhombus and isosceles triangle. And let me tell you about this equiangular and equilateral polygon. This is a square. You can observe that in a square all four sides are equal and all four angles measure equal to 90 degrees. So this is the equiangular and equilateral polygon. So out of these four options the correct answer is here in option number 2. You can definitely write the answer for this question is option 2. I hope it's clear. Now let's take up our next question. Here I have question number 53 which states that the sum of the digits of a two digit number P is 11 and if the digits are reversed then the new number becomes Q. The value of P plus Q is out of these four given options. So when we talk about a two digit number you have a digit at tens place and a digit at units place. So let's consider that the tens digit in this case is x. So here I am talking about tens digit of the given two digit number p. So that clearly gives me an idea that units digit will be definitely 11 minus x because sum of the two digits is 11. So units digit will be 11 minus x. So when we write the two digit number you multiply the tens digit with 10 and units digit with 1. So I could clearly say that p will be given by 10x plus 11 minus x and when we talk about q where the digits are being reversed here q will be given by 10 into 11 minus x here you can see this units digit has become now tens digit and the tens digit will become units digit when the digits are reversed. So this is P and Q. You need to further obtain the value of P plus Q. So let's obtain now P plus Q. Here when I write P plus Q this is clearly equal to 10x plus 11 minus x and when you simplify this here you get Q as 110 minus 10x plus x. So you can clearly see in this case plus x minus x gets cancelled plus 10x minus 10x gets cancelled. I am left out here with 110 plus 11 which is equal to the value 121. That means P plus Q is equal to 121. So the value of P plus Q out of these four options is clearly found here in option number 2 because here we have options as 132, 121, 164 and 144. So the correct answer in this case is here in option number 2. You can write here the answer to be option 2. I hope it is clear to you. Let's take up our next question. Here I have this question number 54 which states that the simple interest at 2k percent per annum for k years will be rupees 4k on a sum of these four options. So here this is a question related to simple interest where the rate of interest is 2k percent per annum, the time period is here k years and the simple interest earned is 4k. We do not know about the principal here. So principal will be out of these four options. So let me consider that principal considered in this case is x and the value of x will be obtained out of these four options. So very first let us consider sum to be rupees x. Taking that into consideration if I apply here the formula of simple interest that is PRT upon 100 this is principal into rate into time upon 100 the interest earned is here 4k. So now let us simplify this and get the value of x. If you clearly simplify this you will find that here I have 400k upon 2k square. So if I see this x is given by 400k upon 
two k square, where two reduces four hundred two hundred times, and k reduces k square k times. This simplifies to the value two hundred upon k. So as we were talking about sum, sum is rupees x, where x is rupees two hundred upon k. That means here I have found the correct answer for this question. The sum is out of these four options, where options are hundred upon k, four hundred upon k. 50 upon k and 200 upon k and you can clearly find here 200 upon k is present in option number 4 the correct answer for this question is option 4 you can mark the answer for this question as option 4 i hope it's clear let's take up our next question 